welcome everybody to Utility Lessons Learned with Pat and Bill. My name is Bill Meehan and joining me today is Pat Hall. This is actually Hi. lesson number four. So we're going to talk about, we, we talk about insight. We talked about that the last time that uh, GIS has a lot of capability, but insight is one of the ones that we really sometimes don't take advantage of enough. And insight comes with this term called spatial analysis, analyzing something around location. And it does remind me of a quick story. One of the one of the people that I work with, his name is Stanley. And Stanley used to take all kinds of information in his head about what to do to make a decision. I mean, insight is about making a decision. And one of his decisions was, do I keep crews on uh, on overtime or do I send them home? So what Stanley used to do is he would take all this data, like about the weather, uh, things that he, because he worked for the utility for, you know, 50 years or something. He had all, he knew the system. He knew where the leaning poles were. He knew where the trees weren't trimmed. And he would take all of that information in his head and he'd organize it by, guess what? Location and make a decision whether to keep crews or not keep crews. So that was, he was really doing what I call spatial analysis. And of course, he was with the utility for years. He then retired. And now we need to use GIS to do that kind of spatial analysis. Pat, how about you? You know people like that that had all this experience. Sure. Well, you're really talking about decision making. And I have a question for you. Have you ever been to a utility office that didn't have maps hanging around? Never. I, I, I can tell you, <laughs> I, I have not. And uh, that is because most everything that a utility cares about has some form of location. You know, just viewing things spatially, as you say, uh, it, it provides a, a deeper level of understanding for many of the things that we care about. So you asked about a story. Uh, planning, system planning used to send me sketches of where they intended to conduct overhead 34 kV conversion. Of course, when you do that kind of conversion, you're installing taller poles. We put 10 foot cross arms and they were not aware of where we had clearance issues and tree problems and difficult access. Those were things that I knew because I was the district engineer. I drove those roads and, and I knew where those problems were. And I had to relate those recommendations, as you said, like Stanley did, spatially in my head because their their recommendations were unrealistic. And I had to, had to bring that kind of analysis uh, to bear on the problem so that we could come up with a good conversion plan that would serve our customers uh, well. And, you know, I think we fall into a trap when we think of GIS, we think of making better maps faster and really we're overlooking this capability to to analyze information spatially. And uh, that's oftentimes a lost advantage to address many of these challenges that we're facing today uh, in the industry. And it's really a whole new approach to looking at problems, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. So th this idea of using GIS to for analysis is is something I really wish utilities would take more advantage of, and and they don't. And I think you're right. Uh, you know, when I put in in years ago, I was involved with. I was like the champion of the GIS project, and uh, I mean, really, it was about how do I make those maps faster? How do I reduce the stack of you know we had these stack of of backlog work orders, and we needed to get them done faster. So maybe we could use tools to make the paper maps faster. No, it's really about gaining insight to be able to make a decision about what to do. In some cases, those decisions could be not just about where to build something, but what's the impact on, on a segment of our customers like the equity. <clears throat> so we're going to talk about next time something called the geographic uh, infrastructure, how to build that. And in order to get to that, I like to use the term the geographic approach. And that's really what we're talking about is using geography, not just to make maps, but to make really good decisions. So join us next time and we're going to kind of wrap this up. We talked about record, system of record, system of engagement, system of insight. But uh, next time we're going to talk about the geographic uh, approach to doing things. So with that, we'll see you next time.